The European Broadcasting Union has condemned an attack on Oleksandr Pontelimanov, the acting head of Ukraine's national television company NTU. Rallies have taken place in Kiev to denounce the Svoboda MPs behind the assault, during which Pontelimanov was forced to resign. We're outraged by the fact that people were beaten at Independence Square. Why should we stand for them beating someone now? We have laws, they should act according to them. But this opinion is not shared by everybody, as Ihor Moroshnichenko, one of the attackers, explained. I agree I might have overreacted, but under the circumstances something had to be done to make this person resign immediately, he said. As for my parliamentary immunity, it doesn't stop the authorities from looking into what I did. So let them investigate my actions and the actions of my colleagues. NTU has elected Yuri Romanchuk as the interim head of the company. Pontelimanov, meanwhile, is reportedly in hospital in a state of shock. Impressions of what has been done are the worst possible, said Romanchuk. Especially when you think it took place at the national television station, in the capital of Ukraine, at a time when Ukraine has declared it will follow the principles of democracy and has chosen the European path. Pontelimanov was forced into signing a letter of resignation, but Ukrainian law dictates cabinet members have the final word. Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk has condemned the attack.